renovation plans for their new Windsor home Frogmore Cottage reportedly show room for a nanny's quarters along with space for a police protection officer and the Meghan's mother Doria Ragland. According to the Mail Online, the cottage will be turned from separate staff flats to a five-bedroom home ready for the royal couple to move into next spring. The plans also allow for a bedroom to be built above the studio in the grounds of the cottage. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will not be hiring celebrity nanny Connie Simpson to look after the baby, despite widespread reports. M. Simpson recently denied she will be the Sussex's new nanny following a recommendation from pals George and Emil Clooney. M. Simpson's spokesman told Access Hollywood, the reporting is inaccurate. Mrs. Simpson has not spoken to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Nor has she been engaged by them. Should the Duke and Duchess of Sussex hire a nanny, they will be following in the footsteps of in-laws William and Kate who employed Maria Theresa Turry in Borallo shortly after Prince George was born back in 2013. M's Turry and Borallo was trained at the prestigious Norland College in Bath where nannies are instructed in traditional child-rearing skills as well as self-defense and first-aid training. Harry and Meghan are hoping to move into their new Windsor home before their baby is due in the spring. Frogmore Cottage is on the Frogmore Estate near Frogmore House, where Harry and Meghan held their wedding reception six months ago. The newlyweds also had their engagement pictures in the grounds. Frogmore is less than half a mile from Windsor Castle, meaning the royal baby's great-grandmother, the Queen, would be living close by.